Hi everyone, Alessandro and welcome to this evening call and the title is something around the need to win and um, how much effort do we put into winning and how do we succeed and um, part of the reason I put this on is to cheer everyone up. Spring is in the air and I think we all need a bit of a lift and I just love these colours in this beautiful silk scarf. I think it's an old Indian scarf which I found in a market but I just love it. So welcome and um, hi Margaret, welcome on the call and um, just something about how do we succeed and how do we win and what do we do ourselves because sometimes when we make a lot of effort we tend to fail or not to win. So it's a false uh, belief often that, you know, what we're taught in school is, you know, keep trying, keep trying. What about trying a different way? And I think I love athletics, for example, and I love watching, you know, sometimes you see athletes who are winning the race quite easily. And then somehow they think about the winning and they tense up and then they lose. And you think, how could you lose when you're way ahead of the others? But you could just see it in their in their bones and in their mind that they're thinking, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, can I win? We see it in tennis often, you know, players who are, you know, way ahead, you know, five one up, and then in their mind something switches. They're thinking about the win, they're thinking ahead, they're not present, and what happens? They lose, and that's how you know champions are made. So just some ideas about winning and maybe share your own tips on you know what do you do to succeed but I think um, one of the main things is to let go you know let go of the outcome not be attached to it of course you've got to want to succeed and win and um, but when we hold on so tightly and I'll read something from Chuang Tzu in a, in a, in a couple of minutes um, another thing I heard also, for example, that in China, when they um, train, you know, for archery, for example, that um, the first few weeks they don't shoot any arrows. They just sit still and look at the target in the distance. And just in the stillness, in the, you know, in the contemplation of the target, gradually the the center, the bullseye becomes bigger and bigger over the weeks. Then when they're ready to shoot, they can hit the center. Um, so it's a, it's a kind of internal training. And this is what, you know, things like Qigong, yoga are very good at. It trains us internally to, if you like, in the stillness to then um, have, have the action or the movement coming out of the stillness rather than a frenetic, you know, panicky thing. So anyway, share, share what you, um, any ideas you might have on this. Um, so I think it's, yeah, success, winning is letting go of the outcome. I think Deepak Chopra has a wonderful expression. Um, let the universe handle the details. So you have an intention, you want to succeed, you want to win, give it, give it to the universe. Let the universe sort it out, but we have to have that focus and that intention. So I'm just going to read a little short bit of uh, Chuang Tzu and I've forgotten my bells so I'll do it without the bells today. It's quite a short one. The need to win. When an archer is shooting for nothing, he has all his skill. If he shoots for a brass buckle, he is already nervous. If he shoots for a prize of gold, he goes blind or sees two targets. He is out of his mind. His skill has not changed, but the prize divides him. He cares. He thinks more of winning than of shooting. And the need to win drains him of power. I mean, that's quite a powerful thing because I'm sure, you know, athletes and, um, you know, performers in sport are always really holding on to that win. But same in life, sometimes we can turn things around a bit, not be so desperate, allow things to take their course. So I think, um, you know, practice like Qigong is always very beneficial to get to that place of stillness, act from that place and trust that the universe is always supporting us. It's always there, but we need to have that connection, belief, certainly have the intention. 
and if you want to know more about things like Qigong look on the website flowinghealth.co.uk and there is an online course you can train yourself to win to let go let the universe handle the details so thank you for watching hi Louise and um, put any comments what do you do to win how do you allow the universe to handle the details and share any comments and um, I think it's a time we're all here we just have to inspire each other in whichever way we can use Facebook for good use social media for good and you know wake ourselves up wake other people up thank you for watching